What's going on, chosen ones? The saints, the elect of the Lord. It's only a few of us, y'all know that. Just like in the days of Noah, how many people were saved on that ark? Always remember that, right? It's only a few of us, man, that's going to uh, get this truth. The path that leads to life is straight and narrow, right? And few there be that find it. Y'all know that scripture. What is that, Matthew 7, like verse 13 and 14? Fasten them spiritual seat belts. Get you something to eat, get you something to drink. But if you're fasting, that's even better. Oh, it's on today. We're just going to roll, man. Follow the spirit of the Holy Ghost. And uh, let's go ahead and start uh, with uh, Revelations. What, chapter 12, verse 1. Revelations 12. How y'all doing today? Oh, all is well. Hanging on to Jesus, right? Oh, you good if you holding on to Jesus. Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah. Uh, that's your way of escape. Um, that's a sure foundation. The Lord our God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, what is it? Revelations 12. Let's get that. Let's go over verse 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. A woman clothed uh, with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars this reminds me of the Statue of Liberty y'all seen that picture of the Statue of Liberty and there appeared a great wonder in heaven so this this the Statue of Liberty represents Zion that's what I'm getting y'all seeing that the Statue of Liberty represents Zion. Y'all seen the picture? Let me show you a picture. Look. But it's supposed to be a black woman. And I'm pretty sure there's 12 stars. Those those spikes on that head right there. I'm pretty sure there's 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That represents Zion, y'all, which is in heaven. The children of Israel. So the children of Israel represents uh sovereignty the statue of liberty think about it that represents sovereignty sovereignty so this is supposed to be a black woman which is zion all right now let's get back to our reading that's what's up y'all you know? and there appeared a great wonder in heaven the kingdom where's the kingdom of god in heaven right where's zion in heaven right psalms 110 verse 1 and 2 tell you that where is the Lord our God? In Zion, in heaven. Right? Clothed with the sun. That's the glory of God, right? Right? Let's go to... Uh, we're going to come right back. Let's go to... Uh, Matthew... What is it? 13.43. Matthew 13.43. It said clothed with the sun, right? Matthew 13, 43. Then shall the righteous, look, the righteous is Zion. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun. Look, y'all. In the kingdom, or in the heaven. The heavens is the kingdom. That's those who are resurrected from the dead. What's the, what, what are we being dead to? Dead to sin, dead to the flesh, dead to self, dead to darkness. You know, right? Shine forth as the sun. That's what we're reading about in uh, Revelation 12. And the kingdom, look, of their father. That's knowledge of Jesus Christ. The father is the revelation of Jesus Christ. Right? Those who are sealed with his name, Jesus Christ. Because what? He's the resurrection and the life. He made all things new. In the person of Jesus Christ. That's where the Father is hidden. The Father is hidden. And it said, The God of Israel, Isaiah 45, verse 15. The God of Israel hideth himself. He's hidden in the Son. He's glorified in the Son. Right? That's why the Son of God must be lifted up. To get what? The Father glory. Because the Father's greatest glory is his Son, Jesus Christ. Whom he loved before the foundation of the world. And we're hidden in who? Jesus Christ. 
also that's his sons and daughters that's the body of Christ right the children of what liberty the children of light so the statue of liberty is represents the divine light that's what that statue of liberty that's what she's holding up Zion who had ears to hear let him hear let him hear let him hear what, what the spirit says right let's go on back over there y'all let's go on back over there revelations 12 that's what these videos are about revelation man to build you up right it's the truth that takes you through the veil right that truth is the torch that the statue of liberty is holding up let's look at let's get another picture of that that's that torch uh let me get that uh picture that's what she's holding up y'all see that zoom in on that little bit that torch man that the statue is holding up that's supposed to be a black woman Zion 12 stars on the head right representing the Sun the glory of the Sun ain't that don't that look like a Sun on her head right and the rays of the Sun shining forth from her that torch is the truth y'all the Statue of Liberty and ain't she holding in her hand a Bible look that's the Holy Bible man God's Word God's Word which stands for what Liberty sovereignty right God given rights this is this is not a, a created uh, of creation of the flesh this is born again of uh, the Holy Ghost man they who are born of the Holy Ghost, those are the heavens, those are the righteous. They have God's uncreated life in them. That's what raised us from the dead. God's uncreated life. That's the, the uh, glory of Jesus Christ. It's his Father. That's what it said. The head of Christ is God. That's what we inherit. That's full revelation of God. That means we're complete in Christ Jesus. Okay. That's what that represents. Let's get back to our word. Let's get back to the word. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. A woman, Zion, right, who birthed Christ. That's what we about to read. She birthed the Christ, Zion. Clothed with the Son. That's the glory of God. That's being one with the Father. My Father and I are one. John 10:30. And the moon, the lesser light. Remember in Genesis, he made the greater light to rule the day, the lesser light to rule the night, right? Under her feet, right? So we're shining from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet as the sun and the kingdom of our father. And upon her head, look, a crown of 12 stars. That's the 12 tribes of Israel. That's the 12 tribes of Israel. Those are the... Uh, children of liberty and when we read uh, or study this uh, pledge of allegiance it says one nation under God with liberty and justice for all he's talking about that the all is the citizens of the 14th amendment that's the birthright Jacob's birthright of Genesis 25 you got Jacob and Esau Esau despises his birthright Esau was rejected of God when we fast forward to Hebrews 12 verse 16 17 Esau was rejected found no place of repentance Jacob is the elect of God right Jacob is loved by God and this whole world revolves around uh, that really that statue of liberty which is Zion who has the torch which is the scepter you can call that torch that's in her hand the scepter that's the scepter. That's the scepter of uh, Genesis 49, 8 to 12. We might as well get that. We got time. We just started this video. Let's go on over there and get it. Genesis 49, 
and uh, what I say, eight. Genesis 49 8. And it says, Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. You know, when Jesus Christ came out of Judah, y'all know that. Hebrews 7 14. Hebrews 7 14, y'all. Judah, that's Jesus Christ. Let's tap on that. Let's see what we get. Cross reference that. Got time. Deuteronomy 33 7 says, And this is the blessing of Judah. And he said, Hear, Lord, the voice of Judah, and bring him unto his people. Let his hands be sufficient for him, and be thou a help to him from his enemies. That's Jesus Christ. Fighting our battles, being our king. He's an enemy to our enemies. He, he's an adversary to our adversary. Which is Exodus 23, uh, starting with verse 20. On down. Revelations 5, 5. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. That's the heart, the spirit, the life of David. The root of David. So you have to come through David. Right? King David. We have to be a son of David. Which means you got to come through the door of Judah. John 10, verse 7 and 9. Have prevailed to open the book. That's the scriptures. We see that in Luke 24, verse 44, 45. Then open he their understanding that they might know the scriptures. Right? And loose the seven seals thereof. And he gave us understanding. Uh, Re Genesis 49 8. Judah, Christ, that's Christ. Thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Right? Like Joseph. Remember Joseph, our brother Joseph, and the other uh, brethren, they had to bow down to Joseph. Right? And Joseph represented Jesus Christ in resurrection. That's who Joseph represents. Jesus Christ in resurrection form. That he had to speak to them by way of an interpreter. That which is today, that's the Holy Ghost. You can't understand the scriptures. The line of the tribe of Judah loosed the seals by giving us what? The Holy Ghost who interprets the Bible to us. First uh, Corinthians 12, 3. No man can say that Jesus Christ is Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the interpreter. Right? The Holy Ghost is that torch that the Statue of Liberty is holding up. Right? You must be filled with the Holy Ghost to be the Statue of Liberty. We all become the Statue of Liberty. All the saints. Zion is the church. Zion is the saints. Zion is the kingdom. Zion is, represents the resurrection. of Zion is the statues, the memorial of God. You see that Bible she holding in her hand? That's the scriptures. That's our foundation. The scriptures, that's the rock that we stand on. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Scriptures. The mountain of God. Well, let's get that. Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah, uh, what we want, y'all, 65, 9, 65, 9. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob. This will be the strength. This will be, that seed is the strength, the power. That's the Savior. That's the Redeemer. Y'all know that. A seed out of Jacob and out of Judah. We were just reading that, Genesis 49. Thou art he whom thy brother shall praise, which is Jesus of Christ, Hebrews 7, 14. An inheritor of my whole, of my mountains. We become the mountains in the scriptures by holding that book that the Statue of Liberty is whole. Mine elect shall inherit it. What? Sovereignty, liberty, justice. We get the habitation of justice. 
Jesus is our justice. See, we, you know, in the world, there's no justice for the children of Israel. Right? Y'all see it. Y'all see it every day. You've been seeing it all your life. You've been seeing it before you came into the world through, through uh, the records, the videos, and the books. Right? Oh, you got, you've seen the records of our mistreatment. You know about chattel slavery, the 400 years, uh, no wages, no reparations, no respect. Who was that? 1857, uh, uh, Dred Scott. Right? He was counted as property. He couldn't. Uh, he couldn't uh, even sue. He didn't have it. The uh, he didn't even have the liberty to sue his slave owners. The courts, the Supreme Court said he was proper. At that time, they said the black man has no rights that the white man is bound to respect. 1857. What was that? 13 years later, the uh, Emancipation Proclamation. Uh, a few years later, I should do it. 1857. Well, 1857 to. Uh, uh, 1863. Okay, 1863. So, that's when we uh, got the Emancipation Proclamation. But even still, uh, we had to get the 13th, 14th, 15th Amendment signed, sealed, delivered. By 1870, we was good. We was sealed. So, uh, we are prior to the the corporation America that's in rule right now that's the United States corporation America but that's not the the Republic America was before 1871 that's the, the non consenters the 12 tribes with that that crown that that Statue of Liberty is wearing that crown that rep is that those are non consenters that's a jurisdiction that's holy ground like that book she holding that holy body, that's holy ground. To have liberty, you must be holy. Y'all catching this, saints? You have to have, be holy. Right? You have to put on the new creation of God. Let's, let's finish reading verse 9. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob. That's the holiness. The holy one. Seed out of Jacob and out of Judah and inheritor of my holy mountains. And my elect shall inherit it through Christ, though. Through Christ. And my servant shall dwell there in the city. Zion is a city. Statue of Liberty is a city. Statue of Liberty is a kingdom. This is of God, though. This is the hand of God, the finger of God, the power of God, the glory of God. Remember that son? That's the glory of God. And they shall shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of that. That's the glory. Huh? We can't make this up. We can't. We're not making it. Come on now. Every you, y'all all seen the Statue of Liberty. I saw. I had the, the privilege of seeing it in person. Have y'all seen it? You ain't got to go there. Just turn the TV on and see it. But I saw it in person. Scared the crap out of you, man. It's that huge. It's that gigantic. You know, that's some man-made stuff that scared the heck out of you. Let alone the things that God himself, I mean, the, the, God is the spirit behind this, man. This is the hand of God. He made them design that Statue of Liberty. I seen some ships, some man-made ships, man. Ooh, gigantic. Have y'all seen those submarines? Not the basically submarine but these ships that they created you know like the titanic man was scared of crazy so huge and this is again this is the hand of man so god is greater and his salvation is way bigger huger than anything man could do so this liberty ain't no joke man the constitution is not a joke I'm talking about the 1 through 15th Amendment. It's that huge. And we're talking about these ships, Statue of Liberty, mountains. You, 
you know, these huge, uh, remember the Empire State Buildings? Remember how huge them things were? The Twin Towers? And if you got corner men that can do this stuff, let alone the the, the Sphinx and um, the pyramids, you know what man is at the Mount Rushmore? These man and man, uh, they've done some incredible stuff, man. In the past, that stuff that they used to do in Egypt and Babylon, that modern day can't they can't figure it out. They can't copy it. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how it was, how it was performed, how it was done, how it, it came about. So uh, that's what we're saying. If man can do these things, how much more our God, man? How much more our God? And we we see that our God says nothing is impossible for Him. But His work of salvation, I, I, that's all I'm saying, uh, is greater than any thing the hands of man can do because the hands of man man in the flesh tries to to uh cover up tries to block the work of god what god has done uh what well let me give you an example of what i'm talking about right there give you an example uh what i just said i probably didn't say it plain enough but uh second corinthians four I guess is what I'm saying. Second Corinthians four, for example, is it? It said, "But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, like that Statue of Liberty, right? And we're not walking into sovereignty, but we're supposed to be coming into it. We're supposed to be getting stronger and stronger by day by day in the spirit realm, because what's done in darkness will come to the light." Okay, when it's all said and done, when all this modern day stuff pass away, the sovereigns are gonna be standing. We're gonna be the the uh, the only one standing, man. And everybody else gonna be bowing down to us. They're gonna be bowing down to us, just like Joseph. Remember, I said Joseph represents the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Cause remember, in the time of Joseph. The vision he had that there would be years of prosperity. Years of prosperity. America had its years and years of prosperity. Right? America had abundance, man. Abundance, abundance, abundance. Now, do you see those, uh, like, the pastime paradise of America? Now it's passed away. Like, the white privilege that white people, you got a whole lot of, you got more white people on, like, public assistance now, like, what they call the word welfare. You got more people, white folks on welfare than black people. And remember, they had a 400 year head start. And the homelessness. Look at all that. So many homeless white folks. It's almost like they got us beaten and being homeless. So you see the curses now coming on Esau, on the other nations. You see the curses coming on the other nations. Uh that we we were already experiencing. We already had it for 400 years. Now they getting it. So I'm saying what's done in darkness will come to the light. This thing is reversing now on the oppressors. So we're going to look up and soon see down the oppressors are in captivity. You know, when, when all this smoke clears because they pass, the prosperity is drying up. When their prosperity fully dries up and that's what's going on right now as I'm speaking that prosperity is drying up the darkness the darkness even though it's getting gross darkness it's, it's always dark as what before the dawn they say right because the morning is here and as that light our light shines brighter and brighter like it says in Proverbs 4 until that perfect day and so as we get brighter, they, they, they're becoming darker. They gross darkness. Don't get it twisted. But they're going to soon look up and see themselves in cap. That's what's going on. Their rights are being taken away. The rights of these uh, hijackers, these squatters, these aliens who have hijacked the 14th Amendment. They have hijacked the Constitution. That's what that Statue of Liberty represents. That's been hijacked. That's been hijacked. 
okay, uh, by corporation of America, right, who are not in covenant with God. Corporation of America is in rebellion against the liberty, rebellion against the light, rebellion against Zion, rebellion against uh, God's chosen people. So they have exalted themselves above the truth. Let's finish reading this. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, this truth be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Verse 4 is the point. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. At least the light. There's that torch. At least the light. That torch. Of the glorious gospel. That's what the light is. That torch. The gospel of Christ, who is the image, you got to put all this in there, the image of God, that's who that Statue of Liberty is. It's supposed to be the image of God. The image of God should shine unto them. That Statue of Liberty is supposed to be the image of God. Zion. Judah. Then I say Judah is Zion? Let me get that for you. Judah is the same as Zion. Remember, everybody, all the brothers are supposed to bow down to Judah. Psalm 78. Let's get it. Psalm 78. And, uh, 68. Let's get it, class. But, chose the tribe of Judah, the Mount Zion. See that? Judah is the Mount Zion. Remember Isaiah 65 9, we shall inherit that holy mount. Oh, right, that was one that Redeemer would come through Jacob and Judah. Right? Right here. This is this is uh his inheritance. But chose the tribe of Judah. That's his inheritance. Right? That's where he plants us in Judah. He plants us in Mount Zion. The Mount Zion, which he loved, which he loved. This was God's home forever, ever, and ever. Let's cross reference. Let's cross reference this. Psalms 87 and 2. The Lord loves the gates of Zion. That's where he wants you. That's where he wants to plant you. Right? That's that sovereignty. He wants you to have his sovereignty. He wants you to have his glory. Remember that son? You got to be clothed in the sun. And that sun represents Jesus Christ too. That son of righteousness. Love the uh, gates of Zion more than the dwellings of Jacob. Jacob is us in the flesh. Right? He loved Jacob according to the flesh. But he wants to uh, give you a resurrection life. Right? That means you have accepted his gift. You have accepted his love. Right? You have to accept the Lord on his condition. You have to accept his word. You know, I've said time and time again, somebody can give you a gift. You can reject a gift from somebody. Right? So you have free will. So you can ex accept or you can decline. Let's finish reading our Psalm 78. Next verse. And he built his sanctuary, that's us in Christ, like the high places of the earth. That's the heritage of Jacob, which he had established forever. This is established forever. Zion, Judah, Mount Zion, and built his sanctuary like the high places of the earth. Let's get that. Like the high places of the earth. Which one we want? Uh, this word is perfect, y'all. Perfect word of God. Isaiah 58, 14. Let's get that. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride, here it is, upon the high places. Here it is. Then we just, we just read that. He wants you in the high places. High places of the earth. This is resurrection. And feed thee. Look, y'all. What, what we gonna eat? Feed thee with the heritage of Jacob. There it is. The heritage. Ancestry. The covenant. Jacob thy father.
for the mouth of the Lord has spoken at the scriptures. The mouth of the Lord speaks the scriptures. The truth. The truth is that light and that torch. The high places of the earth. Right? To whom the Son of God is made free is free indeed. Y'all know that. Let's get, we might well get that. John 8 and uh, 30. Let's go over there. John 8, 30. And as he spake these words, the scriptures, right? All scriptures given by God, right? All scriptures given by the authority of God. All scriptures. Let's stay with the book. That's what that Statue of Liberty is holding. The Holy Bible. That's what that is in our hand. The Holy Bible. Zion must hold the Holy Bible and live and die by that Holy Bible. And I die. I'm talking about dying to the flesh. Die to sin. Die to this world. Die to self. Die to the power of Satan. Die out of one kingdom and enter into a new kingdom. Right? Die out of one self and enter into our new self, which is Christ. Die out of the old world, enter into God's kingdom. That's that's a, the world of the saints. Israel is the world we're out in. Isaiah 45, 17. As he spake these words, many believed on him. Right? As he, the scriptures, you're supposed to believe on Jesus through the scriptures. Right? Now, ain't that John 7, 38? Right? He that believeth on me... As the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, the scriptures, then are ye my disciples indeed. Then we grow. We grow into disciples of Jesus Christ. And ye shall know the truth. That's that torch. Right? We, we both be light bearers. Right? Illuminated. So we the real Illuminati's. And that just means light bearers. We are the real Illuminati's. And you shall know the truth. And the truth, like the mighty great lion be saying, that truth is Jesus Christ. He said, I'm the way, the truth. And the light. John 14, verse 6 and 7. Shout out, mighty great lion. Shout out, queen of Israel. Right? And if y'all, others are stepping up and doing videos, can y'all uh, let us know so we can shout y'all out? Whoever doing the work. Remember, Jesus said, who my mother, my brother, my sister, but they that do the will of my father, which is in, what's the will of my father? Like he told Peter, feed my sheep. Feed my lambs. Right? Feed my feed my people. Right? Moses said, let my people go. So those of you who are not fighting for the, the poor and the needing fighting for God's people, you are in error. You gotta step up. You gotta step up. You better do something. You know, get with the Lord first. You know, make your peace with God. Make sure you got the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. That's the love of God. The love of God should flow through you to others. Let me say it again. The love of God is supposed to flow through you to others. That's why Jesus said, All men should know you, my disciples, as you had what? Love one to another. One for another. But it's got to be the love of God. You know what I'm saying? He's more powerful than our flesh. Our flesh uh, is selfish. Our flesh is stubborn and ungodly. Yeah, our flesh is me, myself, and I. Flesh don't want to serve. You first got to serve. You first got to be a servant to the Lord. That's why he calls us servants. Leviticus 25 verse 55. Israel is his servants. You first got to serve the Lord. You got to minister to the Lord. And mainly that's with fasting and praying. Acts 13 verse 1 and 2. 
or one through four, we got to minister to the Lord. Study, show ourselves, approve. And, you know, as we exalt Him, He exalts us. That's how it works, students. That's why the Son of God got to be lifted up. Now, right, the higher you lift them up, let me show you something. We're going to come back, John 8. I just got to show you this since I'm speaking on it. Uh, which one? Hosea 11, 7. Let's get that one first. Hosea 11, 7. It says, And my people are bent to backsliding from me. Though they call them to the Most High. That's what we're doing now. Calling you to Jesus Christ, the Most High. None at all would exalt him, but y'all won't exalt him. So you bent on backslide. That means he can't he can't bless you. He can't bless you like he want to. Let's get the one in Job. Uh Job uh is it seventeen four? Yeah. Job seventeen four. For thou hast hid their heart from understanding. Understanding got to be in your heart, class. Thou has hid their heart from understanding. Right? If you don't understand a certain thing, then you're supposed to be at a certain place, at a certain point. You're going to be all confused, walking. So you ever been in high school or whatever, and you can't find your way to class? Remember that? You couldn't find your way to class? Remember being in a building or somewhere? You don't know which way to go? You're all confused. You can't serve the Lord like that. You know, not knowing which way to go. Oh, that's law. Remember, if our gospel be hid, it's hid to them that are lost. And whom the gods of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not. Least the light, the torch. Right? Which is uh, of the glory of God. The image of God should shine under them. The face of Jesus Christ. So you're missing the face of Jesus Christ. You're missing the, Jesus Christ, the glory of God. The image of God. Which is, he's pointing you to that. The Bible's pointing you to the Son. God's Word is pointing you to the image of God, His Son. Jesus Christ. To what? Put on that image. Put on your clothes. Then Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Right? You got to clothe yourself right there in that image. That, that's a heavenly image. Remember this wonder we saw in heaven? How did Revelation 12 start out? This wonder is in heaven. And we got to finish that too. We ain't even finished that. Revelation 12. Let's finish this. We'll try to, man. I know we're going a lot of places. But it's for your edification. For thou hast hid their heart from understanding. Therefore shalt thou not, look, exalt them. And we're just reading about he wants you in these high places, the heritage of Jacob, the high places of the earth. And if we're not in the high places, that means what? We're in the low places. We're in the low places. And the low places is the habitation of cruelty. That's the habitation of darkness. That's what Satan ran, the Roman. There's no liberty there in that darkness. There's no liberty there. That's just cruelty. Psalms, uh, let's get it. 74, 20. Psalms 74, 20. Have respect unto the covenant. That's what that torch is. The Statue of Liberty is holding up. The covenant. We got to hold that covenant, man. Brothers and sisters, Zion. The church kingdom the saints right we got to hold up the covenant of God as a torch but it said you are a city set on a hill a city set on a hill we are that light that sit on a hill the city that set on a hill that cannot be here we are the sirens of God we got to be established settled strengthened and perfected in Christ Jesus now these we are the ones dead to sin. We dead to it. Sin has passed away. That was of our old nature, our old man, the flesh. 
the old life. And we are the, his glory in the rest. We, 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 we shine as the sun now. That's what that Statue of Liberty represents. Psalm 74, 20. Have respect unto the covenant, the scriptures, that holy Bible, the Statue of Liberty is holding up. For the dark places, the lower places, the dark places of the earth are full of the habitations of cruelty. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all know we don't want no part of that. We want them high places. And them low places is hell too. That's hell. Isaiah 5, come on. Isaiah 5, what we want, y'all? Put that story with. Uh, Isaiah 5. And uh, uh, what we want to start with? 14, y'all? Uh, 13. Isaiah 5, 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. And that's the opposite of the Statue of Liberty. Captivity is the opposite. Prison is the opposite. You know, that's the lower places. And remember, they don't have understanding that he would not exalt us if we don't have understanding. Right? We read that. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge of God or self. You still think, you're still walking in the old creation, Adam and Eve. you still following the what? The course of this world. Remember, there's ways that seem right to a man, but the end of are the ways of death. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge of God or self right, of spiritual laws you don't know spiritual law you don't know the law of liberty right you don't know that statue of liberty is your ancestry your history your privilege your God given rights cause what it's being hid to those who are lost this gospel is hidden to the lost. Right? And whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them that believe not. Least the light of the glory, right, which is the image of God, should shine unto them. Jesus Christ. His light and his glory. His truth. Truth what? Makes us free. We got to get back over there too. John 8. After this. If I don't forget. And their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Therefore, check it out, class. Hell, the habitation of cruelty, the lower places of the earth. Therefore, hell had enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure. Hell can never be too full. It's without measure. We're reading it right now. And their glory of the flesh, of this world, self-glory. And their multitude and their pomp, and he that rejoices shall descend into it. God don't want your own glory. I know you you in the NFL, you in the NBA, you a singer, you an entertainer, you might have millions and millions of dollars, you might sign autographs, all that. That's the flesh. That's of this world. That's gonna pass away. Look at your P did your pug, look at them, look at all he had. Now, all he had, is that worth what he going through now? And this man may never be able to walk the streets again. You know what I'm saying? Had that, even that kind of liberty, which was of the flesh still. But the devil is that greedy. He gonna, he'll take away your little flesh liberty. And that's what we coming to. That's what this video is about. That little P. Diddy liberty and your little flesh liberty, you can go to Walmart right now. You can... You can go to the park. You can go to Disneyland. That's going to be taken away. Even that shall be taken away. Except you get in Zion, Christ. Except you become that Statue of Liberty through Christ, a new creation. Except the truth of Jesus Christ make you free indeed. That's what we got to get back to. You're going to be lost. This gospel will be hidden to you. 
right? So, uh, so, uh, hold on a second, Claire's, uh, so we don't want that for you. I know you don't want that for yourselves, right? So, uh, so what we got to do is believe the truth, believe in God's salvation, which is his son, Jesus Christ, his glory, man. And be made what? Free indeed. To whom the Son is made free is free indeed. Right? And uh and uh I love his salvation, man, what he has done for us. And uh I love uh I love uh, how he has taken us and what we was before we are no longer that. We're no longer what we used to be. And uh, in the name of Jesus, there's a song, man, I want y'all to hear. I can get it. Uh, there's a song I want y'all to hear. And, um, uh, by Mary Mary. And, um, uh, I might play it by the end of this video. Now, we know Mary and Mary. They, they got to come into the truth. They got to come into Zion. They got to come into they ancestry and all that all these that's what we're saying that glory of being a, a entertainer of this world being friends of this world you're an enemy of god you got to die to the flesh you have to die to the flesh and uh and so that's what they have not done in this world they've been here that their minds are blinded it's a beautiful song you know, but that ain't gonna cut it. The minds are blinded. It's called I Worship You by Mary Mary. But anyway, before I get there, but we just saw that uh, lower places of the earth is hell. You can go into hell without understanding. You go into hell. That's the habitation of cruelty without the knowledge of God. But the, he wants us in the high places, which is the heritage of Jacob. Right? Which is the sanctuary. He built his sanctuary high. Up high man. Let's get that one in Jeremiah 17. Uh, 12 and 13. Let's get that real quick. A glorious high throne. You see this is a throne like. That Statue of Liberty. Is the. Uh, it's the house of King David. The Supreme Court. Remember. This is before. 1871 Corporation America. That's what they have made it into today. Corporation America. But prior to that, uh, 1863 to 1870, uh, you know, that Union, you know, won the Civil War, beat the Confederate, beat the mess out of the Confederate. But the Confederates are, are sore losers. They, they want that pastime paradise. That's why they always talk about make America great again, all that kind of stuff. They want that white privilege. That's what uh, Woodrow Wilson, that uh, birth of a new nation, all that. See, they, that's hijacking the Constitution. That's what birth of a new nation is, hijacking of the Constitution. You know, because it's only supposed to be uh, Jake running the government. Right, but that out of Jake got to come the saints. Remember, out of Jacob she'll come. He said, out of Jacob, that's out of the flesh. And out of Judah she'll come. Jesus came out of that. Mean, that's our spirit. That seed. He said, a seed shall come out of Jacob. A seed shall come out of. Dude, that's the seed of Abraham, which is the Christ. A glorious high throne. That's where we get. That's that's the heavens, man. Jeremiah three seventeen. Jerusalem is the throne of God. This is where we're supposed to be. A glorious high throne. This is the government. 
This is your Psalms 24. The earth is the Lord, is the fullness of the world. See, so when all this smoke clear, we gonna that's we gonna be standing like that Statue of Liberty. A glorious high throne from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. See that? Zion. We already read that. Psalm 78, 68. That, uh, he built his uh, sanctuary as the high places of the earth. Oh Lord, the hope of Israel. See that? That's Zion. All that forsake thee shall be ashamed. And they that depart from me shall be written in the earth. The Lord, the habitation of cruelty. That's the Lord places. Because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living waters. That's the fountain of Israel, man. The Lord is the fountain of living waters, man. The fountain of living waters. Right? And, uh, like I said, man, we are the inheritors. The Constitution, the House of King David, and uh, we are the, uh, when all this smoke passes away, when all this darkness passes away, we will be standing as that Statue of Liberty, just like that, man, like Zion. But remember, that's a black image. That's the Negro image. They didn't make that look like a Negro image, but that's supposed to be the Negro image, just like the pictures of Jesus that's supposed to be a Negro image 